After a long run of bad choices, Boeing seems to have finally made one good decision. After years of delays, technical setbacks, and skyrocketing costs, they're reportedly looking to end their troubled Starliner program by selling it. But this leads to a big question. Who would be willing to buy such a problematic program, one that's nowhere near complete or fully operational? And what does this mean for NASA and the future of crewed space missions? We'll tackle these questions in today's video, so before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest developments in the space industry. You won't want to miss out. After the Space Shuttle program ended in 2011, the United States no longer had a vehicle to launch astronauts into space. This meant NASA had to rely entirely on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft for access to the International Space Station. This dependency created a strategic risk, as any political tension or conflict between the two countries could disrupt U.S. access to the International Space Station. To address this vulnerability, NASA initiated the Commercial Crew Program to develop American-made spacecraft. In 2014, NASA awarded fixed-price contracts to two companies. Boeing received $4.2 billion to develop the Starliner, while SpaceX was given only $2.6 billion for its Crew Dragon. Many observers were already questioning the funding gap, with some suggesting that NASA favored Boeing due to its long-standing relationship with the agency. Boeing had previously been involved in significant NASA missions, including the Apollo program, which led many to believe it was the safest choice for this critical task. However, Boeing's performance with Starliner fell short of expectations. Despite beginning development before SpaceX, Boeing struggled to meet key milestones, while SpaceX quickly completed development and launched Crew Dragon successfully. SpaceX's first crewed mission occurred in May 2020, and the company has since become NASA's primary partner for astronaut transportation to the space station, with regular missions and a track record of reliability. In contrast, Boeing's path was riddled with issues. The first uncrewed test flight of Starliner in 2019 failed to reach the space station due to a software glitch that caused it to enter the wrong orbit. This forced Boeing to conduct a second uncrewed mission in 2022 after implementing over 80 fixes. That second mission finally docked with the space station, but further technical issues continued to surface, leading to further delays for Starliner's first crewed mission. By the time Boeing was ready to launch its crewed Starliner test flight in June 2024, criticism around the program had grown. Just before the launch, engineers identified helium leaks and other issues with the thrusters. Although NASA and Boeing deemed these issues manageable, problems persisted once Starliner reached the space station. The thrusters underperformed and additional leaks developed, raising safety concerns. As a result, NASA decided that Starliner would return to Earth without astronauts, who would remain on the space station until a safe return option could be arranged. The two astronauts assigned to Starliner, Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, were left awaiting SpaceX's Crew-9 mission to bring them home in early 2025, significantly extending their stay on the station. Financially, Boeing's Starliner program has been costly. The company initially received $4.2 billion from NASA, but delays and technical issues have added around $1.85 billion in extra costs. Recently, Boeing took an additional $250 million financial hit to cover ongoing expenses for testing and certification. This mounting financial burden, totaling nearly $2 billion in losses beyond NASA's funding, has led many experts to question the viability of the Starliner program. Several factors may explain these cost overruns and delays. Boeing's fixed-price contract with NASA meant that any cost beyond the original funding would have to be covered by Boeing itself. Unlike SpaceX, which has a culture of iterative testing and rapid improvements, Boeing took a more traditional, risk-averse approach that often led to extensive reviews and redesigns for each identified issue. For instance, after Starliner's first uncrewed flight in 2019 failed to reach the ISS due to software issues, Boeing had to implement over 80 fixes, delaying the program and incurring additional expenses. 
Further delays followed when new issues arose with Starliner's parachutes, thrusters, and even the use of flammable materials in some components. These problems have required extensive retesting and redesign, which add significant time and cost to the project. Many analysts have been clear about the need for NASA to cancel Boeing's Starliner program, considering the project's escalating costs and continuous delays. Despite these criticisms, NASA has stuck with Starliner hoping for another program which would reduce dependency on SpaceX. However, Boeing itself seems to be reaching a breaking point. Recently, Boeing hinted that it might be considering a sale of its space division, including the Starliner project due to mounting financial losses and the challenges in meeting NASA's requirements. The big question here is, who would actually buy the Starliner program, given its extensive history of delays, technical issues, and cost overruns? With Boeing accumulating nearly $2 billion in losses beyond the original NASA funding and Starliner facing recurring issues like thruster malfunctions, software glitches, and parachute concerns, any potential buyer would have to weigh the program's risks against its potential benefits. Purchasing a space program is not as simple as walking into a store to buy a product off the shelf. Starliner's development has already absorbed billions in NASA funding, along with close to $2 billion in additional costs, and finding a buyer willing to take on these challenges won't happen overnight. This situation brings to mind United Launch Alliance, which has been in discussions about a potential sale since early 2023. Speculation about ULA's sale has been ongoing with potential buyers like Blue Origin, Rocket Lab, and Sierra Space showing interest. However, almost a year later, no deal has been finalized. ULA, valued between $2 to $3 billion, is a major player in launching satellites for the U.S. government. But even with its valuable contracts, negotiations have dragged on without a resolution. This shows just how complex and slow-moving these deals can be. What's ironic in this situation is that Boeing owns half of United Launch Alliance, which has also faced challenges recently, and now Boeing's Starliner program is struggling with similar issues. This situation has led many to question whether Boeing's broader management approach is part of the problem. Boeing has had several recent controversies. Notably, the CEO's salary reportedly increased to $38 million annually, even as Boeing faced major financial losses and public criticism, which some see as a sign that the company is prioritizing profits over fixing its internal problems. This approach may influence Boeing's ability to resolve technical issues and efficiently manage programs like Starliner. In addition, Boeing's reliance on fixed-price contracts has put more financial pressure on its programs. Under these contracts, if costs go over budget, Boeing has to cover the extra expenses. This was the case with Starliner, where Boeing incurred nearly $2 billion in additional costs beyond NASA's original $4.2 billion funding. Issues with Starliner's thrusters, software, and other components added unexpected costs that Boeing had to absorb, contributing to the overall financial strain on the company. If Boeing decides to cancel or sell the Starliner program, NASA will be left with only SpaceX as an option for transport, something they're reluctant to rely on entirely. NASA's original intent in the commercial crew program was to have at least two independent providers to avoid depending solely on one company. With the potential for Boeing's exit, NASA may need to look toward other alternatives, and a promising candidate is Dream Chaser. The Dream Chaser spacecraft is a unique space plane developed by Sierra Space, designed to be reusable and capable of landing on conventional runways, similar to the retired space shuttle. Unlike the capsule designs of SpaceX's Crew Dragon and Boeing Starliner, Dream Chaser's winged design provides a different approach to re-entry and landing, making it a versatile option. Dream Chaser has already been selected for NASA's commercial resupply services missions to carry cargo to and from the space station, with its first mission expected in 2025. Although the current Dream Chaser is a cargo-only version, Sierra Space has plans to develop a crewed version that could potentially transport astronauts in the future. Dream Chaser's reusability and the option for runway landings bring significant advantages in terms of turnaround time and operational flexibility.
Don't forget to check the link in the description to grab your own highly realistic Starship model. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.